What's up, people? My name is Ken. Today we got an RTA, a dual coil RTA, the Dead Rabbit, version two, Heathen and Hell Vape. Let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this. We'll do coil placement, cotton, come back, vape on it, and then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Dead Rabbit version two. And here's the packaging, the Dead Rabbit version 2 RTA by Hell Vape and Heathen comes in. And for those saying that Heathen's name isn't on the packaging, it's right there, you see it? Produced by Heathen. Produced by Heathen, did he manu- Heathen, you've been making these in a machine shop? Inside the packaging you'll get a user manual, a sticker, a bubble glass, baggie with some extra o-rings, top fill gasket and post screws, a flathead and allen key driver. And here is the Dead Rabbit version 2. Straight glass you will get 2 mLs of e-liquid, bubble glass will hold 5 mLs, the RTA is a 25mm RTA, gold plated 510, will come in a bunch of different colors, here it is with the bubble glass on there, this is the matte black, where you could see the logo going on there, and Dead Rabbit V2 on this side. Got that design going all around. Same theme as the original. The bottom's got this plastic that's supposed to help prevent heat, transfer of heat. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, and then it says Dead Rabbit V2 RTA Hell Vape on the bottom. Drip tip on top is an 810 drip tip. And you could see that drip tip. I think we've seen this drip tip before. They used this. I think this is uh, Alex Vapors MD used this on one of his, I think it was the RTA. Right, the Destiny RTA had this one. And then we have our top fill, and I keep on doing this. See what I'm doing? I'm trying to unscrew the top. That's not the way you fill the top. It's got a little arrow up here somewhere. I don't know if we can see it there. It goes right there. Push forward, and that's where you would fill from. So yeah, one of these style. I am shocked they did this with there. You know, I, I don't know. There's something about this with RTAs I do not like. On top, we do have our airflow adjustment. This, this is a top airflow RTA. It does have a stopper. Bottom, we unscrew just like that. And it's got that same feeling of screwing it back together like the original one. It's the same style. Like this one, it doesn't feel crunchy. It feels very tight. I'm trying to tighten everything up on here. There's your inside. Now the inside has honeycomb. If I'm not mistaken, I think this piece does pop out. Let's get this out like that. I'm gonna try and pull it out. But I think it does pop out this airflow thing that you could see there. You could see it right there and there. And that's how it holds onto here. It kinda, kinda clips onto here. And it's basically for it to align. So this way your coil will be right under those two airflows, both coils. So this way, by mistake, you don't want your coils to be on this side of it, so this keeps everything aligned. And the build deck. The build deck is uh, pretty much the V2 RDA's build deck. They went with the raised up kind of posts, kind of raised, you could see it there a little bit, but it's the same build deck as that. I think this was done by the Yup RDA had done that flared up thing, and now Hellvape and Heathen are doing it with the V2 versions of the dead rabbits. And there it is with the post holes fully open. It is using flathead screws. Now, to cut your coils on this one here, coily tool, I recommend five millimeter to cut them. Now that I got them cut at five millimeters, I'm just gonna put that coil in. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna raise it up right there and just tighten them up. And as you can see, right about that height right there is perfect. There you go, got the coils perfect inside there. As you can see, gonna get the hot spots out now. So I'm just gonna pulse and strum the coils until they're glowing evenly. And for those wondering, those are the stats and coils that I'm using inside there. Got the wicks inside there. Now we're gonna cut the cotton. Now with this, the cotton's gonna be long. We want the cotton to basically drop down inside those channels right there. You see it? Ooh, get out of the way, cotton. Right inside here. So now I'm just gonna give it a comb out. I'm gonna cut the other side, right about there. Do the same thing, comb it out. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut that excess cotton off there and from there. And I'm gonna give it a test. Make sure that it's not too long, that it's just perfect. So I'm just gonna 
stuff it inside there. And it looks like on this side here, I could take off just a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a little angle cut. I like doing these angle cuts like that. All right, now grab both sides like this and just stuff it right down inside there. And one thing I've noticed with this is that opening that's down here, it's very, it's small. So you might have to thin out your cotton a little bit more just to get it inside there, which I might actually do that because for it to wick better, I think it's going to need to be thinned out. And there you go, all wicked up. Now, I'm going to put some liquid on top just to get it started. All right, I'm going to saturate that cotton nice. Make sure it's saturated. Now I'm going to do a little test here. I got five ml of e-liquid inside here. All right, let's see if this actually does hold five ml. We'll start filling and filling. It should fit it, but just in case. Yeah. Five mLs on the money. You see that the slide thing, what happens? Yeah, you get that liquid thingy that goes on right there. Anyway, there you go. That was the Dead Rabbit V2 RTA by Heathen and Hellvape. Let's go back up my top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. Well, there you have it. The Up Close Dead Rabbit V2 RTA by Heathen and Hellvape. Mike, your thoughts on this one? Just uh, to clarify something, I really don't have nothing, no offense with Billy. I'm not in a fight with him. I know he don't like me, but I have no issues with the guy. No issues at all. He does what he does. Whatever. Just want to clarify that. Okay? Now, V2 on this RTA, I don't consider it to be a V2. This is more of a V1.5. A V2 would have been something totally different. It's basically the same couple of changes there's like two changes from the original and nothing dramatic well the airflow honeycomb on this one on the original you would get I, me some people did it a lot of people did got a like a whistling sound so they put the honeycomb so it doesn't whistle or anything when it comes to airflow on here you're gonna you might enjoy it it's got a lot of airflow just to give you an example that's where I vape mine. I have it cut down. It, there's a lot of airflow on this thing, and especially for a top airflow because it's grabbing from the top. The flavor gets muted, in my opinion. When it's fully open, it's, it's, a, it's a muted vape. I've tried all different ways of positioning. I achieve better flavor when I have the airflow cut down. So it's going to have to be a con for that reason of... When the airflow is open, it's it's muted on flavor. Now, another con with the RTA is going to have to be... This, is, for my opinion, this is like the biggest con of the RTA. Has to be the wicking ports. Not only is it a long way for that cotton to go down to get in that hole, the holes are small. And if you're putting 3 millimeter coils, for example, inside there, you really have to thin it out. Now, if you put too much cotton in there... You're gonna dry a dry hit. You might dry hit, but you're gonna get not all. This is where it leads to the airflow part, the airflow part, and the flavor being a little bit muted, is because of the choke point and the liquid is not rush. It's almost like you're getting a dry vape off of it because the, your vape isn't saturated because of the choke point. Now I've gone in since the up and close. I've rewicked this thing many a times. I even had one rewick to where I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to wick this the way I think it should be done. And no, it didn't work. It worked, actually. I filled it. I was vaping it. Beautiful. I went through one tank, and I'm like, oh, this is saturated. Nice. When I went to fill up the tank, all the liquid, the pressure, because obviously my cotton I was too short, I, didn't, I prevented the choke point where I achieved that great vape. But because of that, when I filled it, it back the pressure released it and the liquid it flooded so when i went to take my first set off it a burst of liquid i sucked up right in my mouth so yeah the wicking ports to make a long story short i don't want to nag about it the wicking ports on here i don't like and yeah it's gonna have to be a con but it is doable i have it right now wicked perfect i'm vaping it at 90 watts the whole point is you're gonna struggle 
to get the wicking inside here. Right. Perfect. Which I think they overlooked it. They should have beta tested it or something. But who knows. Whatever. Maybe I just suck at wicking. But anyway. Another con with the RTA is going to have to be... I, I like the top fill. And I don't like the top fill on here. I have... Uh, every time I, f I fill this... I have residual liquid that that happens even with regular top fill RTA. But for some reason, because it's only a one sided, I've had a few instances where I'm filling it and it, I'm trying to fill it all the way up and I have back pressure happening and liquid po starts popping out. Maybe the hole is too small. The chimney is kind of in the way inside there. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I like these top fills and I don't like these top fills. Let me put it that way. All right, so whatever. I'm I'm gonna I'll excuse the top fill on here. Now, is it loose? No, I've loop. This has a lot of liquid on it, and it's tight. This is what very tight on the sliding mechanism. This opening up on you, I don't see it happening. But I think that because it's this type, you've seen it with other. Well, this is mainly you see these top fills with sub ohm tanks. There should have been a membrane, so just in case it does open, you don't have any leakage coming out of there but i haven't experienced anything that is tight on there now let's go into some pros with the rta the build deck the build deck is beautiful it's an easy build deck as long as you know where to cut your coils you don't want to place it too high your coils you don't want it to hit the top of the chimney obviously so you have to be careful with your height right where i put them was perfect you want it as low as possible because obviously it's also depends because of the wicking too you don't want that wicking to be such a long run so you have to find that in between with it. Now, build quality on the RTA is beautiful. It's a nice looking RTA. I'm gonna have to get a pro. Bubble glass, five mLs. It's gonna have to get a pro. It's a 25 millimeter. It's gonna have to get a pro. The drip tip is nice. That's on there. It's gonna have to get a pro. You know what? It's not my favorite RTA. I've I've vaped so many good RTAs that vaping this one here. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not my thing. It, it, and it mainly has to do with the wicking on this. And also, top airflow RTs. If you think about it, your airflow is on top. You're just going like this. You're bypassing the coil. I think it's better if the air hits that coil. Hits it. Uh, this is kind of missing the coil. Flavor rating on this, from a 1 to 10 scale, I would have to give it... 6.5 7 7 you're gonna achieve it if you like perfection on the wicking and it's a pain in the ass to wick you know i don't like doing these kind of videos but i you know what i you have to say the truth and that's the way it goes you know if something if i find something that it's not satisfying for me and my vape i have to say it you know so hell vape i know you guys billy probably doesn't even know i'm even reviewing it whatever I have no hard feelings with him, but I know Hellvape's going to be pissed at me over this review. And uh, the, I, I speak it as it is. I tell it the truth. Sorry. So, anyway, that was the Dead Rabbit V2 RTA. In the description below, no links to these, not allowed. It's a YouTube policy thingy. Just my links, advocacy links, down below, as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, and remember, be safe and...